I'm, I'm just going to give everyone a good grade on the midterm. We'll forget that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, what we'll do is today we're going to have an exercise. Uh, again, um, really database design is probably the, the most important part of this. We've, we've more or less been doing that for since the beginning of the semester other than maybe the first week or so. So that's very important. So um, we are going to go over uh, a database uh, design example and we might implement some of it in Access. We might finish up some loose ends on Monday and then we might, we'll have a review on Monday. Uh, again, a week from the day, we will not have class. Uh, I put out the review for the, uh, uh, for the midterm. Uh, in addition, I put the, the days um, that the midterm is available. And I don't want to quote that from the top of my head because I'll get it wrong and I'll be misleading. But, so go on Angel and look that up. But you have a range of almost a week to take the uh, to take the uh, midterm in and you can take it online and sort of to compensate for that you we don't have a class in here so if you want to keep on the same schedule you can do it during this time or you can do it some other time and then take this time to I don't know do something else you know that's the two hours I owe you back all right today we're going to go over a database design example and what I'll do is I'll introduce a problem to you um, I will uh, leave you time to work on it for, you know, maybe, um, you know, we'll play it by ear. Um, small class today, so, you know, uh, depending on how quick you come up with uh, a, a solution, um, you know, um, we'll go over and we'll discuss the solution. And then we'll play around trying to do some things with it in access, again, time permitting. Um, and stop me. I do get confused between this class and another class I have what examples I've gone over. So please, if you've seen this example before, shout it out. I guess you could be sinister and just sit back smirking and, you know, wait five minutes and then hand out the, you know, here, give me the solution. But please let me know if you've done this example already uh, and, and I'll do a new one. All right, the example we're going to do is of a pizza place. All right, ring a bell? Good. All right. This pizza place has several branches. Their customers will place orders with a branch. All right, so the customer will call, you know, Mike's Pizza, um, the Illyria branch, and say, I want to place an order. Now, their orders consist of, an order can consist of multiple pizzas. I did this in my one day class and I, I fear it's a class right before lunchtime so I had people asking, you know, aren't you going to sell subs and, you know, uh, chicken wings and they had all kinds of suggestions but we're going to keep it simple and say that they just, just sell pizzas. Each pizza can be small, medium, or large. Each pizza can be thick or thin crust. <coughs> Each pizza can have some, uh, let me rephrase that, instead of some, I'll say can have several toppings. We won't worry about having double toppings or having um, half a pizza with this and half with that. Although we actually, it's probably not that hard to do that. We might talk about that if we have time. Lastly, each order 
can be either pickup or delivery. Now, we want to build this database to be flexible, to be able to handle potential changes that could come down, down the pike. In other words, we might allow dine-in at some point. Right now we only have pickup and delivery, but we might say, okay, you can also dine-in. You know, here you can, you, you know, you can eat in the dining room. Um, toppings, of course, are flexible. You know, we, you know, it's not, we don't just offer like five or six toppings. We might expand that at any point in time and offer any sort of toppings. Likewise with thick or thin crust. Right now we have thick or thin crust, but we could offer stuffed crust in the future. Um, likewise, the size of the pizza. We could come up with an extra large pizza if you want. All right. I like how I'm talking about this. I've done this example so many times, it's like I own a, a pizza shop. So I, I talk about it like it is my actual pizza shop. But the point is, is we want to build it to be flexible. All right. So what I'd like you to do is take, and I'll play it by ear. I'll see when it looks like you have uh, uh, come to a, a good stopping point. Take some time. Collaborate with people. Ask me questions if you want. And come up with uh, a design of what you're going to have in the database. Then we can talk a little bit um, after we're done about how a piece of place might use this kind of database. All right. Okay. Have at it. Have fun.